Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. So Leo, this week we're going to be taking a look at messages for the month of October. Now the energy that I put forth, it is general. Not every message will resonate. Just take what applies and leave the rest. I will be pulling on spiritual love as well as career messages to see um, different aspects of what you can expect. So let's go ahead and tap in. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, as well as Jupiter. Make sure to check your other placements. Um, I am putting out fire signs today. So Spirit, give me some energy for Leo. What would you like for Leo to know for the month of October? I'm hearing wishes. Dreams do come true, Leo. So for some of you, um, you are getting a wish fulfilled. So congratulations. Something to have to do with um, project. You going to school because I'm hearing assignments. I have forgiveness. Okay. So for some of you, um, you're going to be releasing, letting go, finally choosing to heal. Bottom of the deck, I have commitment, but it's in the reverse. So for some of you, this is you walking away from a commitment, a relationship. This could be a job. For some of you too, you could be choosing to distance yourself from certain family members, friends. But it's like you're not holding on to anything, no type of grudges. You are literally going towards um, peace. I'm also getting like your north node. So for a lot of you, you're coming out of that um, low vibrational energy um, and tapping more into your calling, your purpose. Um, definitely coming into alignment. Give me some more energy for Leo. What is the message? Give me some more um, energy for Leo. Yeah, I feel like for some of you with this commitment, this is something that definitely consumed you. Um, for some of you, this is a situation where you, that you would put above yourself your own needs self-acceptance nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself when you offer your whole being fully to love self-acceptance arises spontaneously may i rest in our oneness dear divine so loving you finally accepting a situation for what it is accepting like your own needs I'm hearing like validation, not seeking anyone else's approval, validation. For those of you where I say like accepting your own needs, like finally coming to terms with certain people, situations that really are not good for you, that really um, is not in sync with your life, with what it is that you want. It doesn't meet your needs. Something really isn't up to your standards. For some of you, this is you um, raising your standards when it comes to a situation. You just fully knowing like your your worth. Um, I'm also getting like detail. Make sure that you're paying attention to detail. Bottom of the deck, I have true offering. May I rest the fears, illusions, and addictions that keep me from true offering. May I relax into your plan, trusting that the next steps will always be shown. Use me, love. Use me for the highest. I am yours. You know what? God was giving me true offering in the Aries reading. And I was saying the deck that I'm using... Um, with self-acceptance coming out with true offering but it's called wild offering but at the bottom of your deck is true offering some of you could have aries highly aspected true offering the giving of self you are enough you don't um you don't need anything to validate you if somebody doesn't love you for you, if they don't accept you without all of, you know, the lights, the glamour, the attention, then that's not someone you need to have around you in your energy. May I release fears, illusions, addictions. Yeah, that's that forgiveness. For some of you forgiving yourself, that's that healing energy. That's that letting go. I'm hearing sacrifice, making sacrifices in your life that are truly going to be for the better. The betterment of you. 
giving up your way for God's way. As I will usually say, use me, love. Use me for your highest. So resting in God's plan. I feel like you're going to be having like a deeper understanding of like self, your true calling, your true purpose. For some of you too, nature, um, I feel like you're definitely going to be tapping more into your gifts, your um, abilities, especially your spiritual abilities. I also feel like um, with calling, again, like you're definitely moving into your North Node. I feel that very heavily for you, Leo. Give me some more messages for Leo. What's the energy? Somebody may be calling you um, after rejection. So after um, somebody like turns you down, they're going to be calling you. This could be you getting rejected when it comes to a relationship, a job offer, expect a call. But I'm also hearing rejection is your protection. So everything happens for a reason. Remember that as well. Something may just not be for you. I'm hearing next in line. So I feel like you're up next, Leo. For the greater good, blessing. So you have a blessing coming in and it's going to be one that really serves um, a tremendous purpose in your life. I have surrender to a power greater than me. Yep, that's that true offering. Again, you giving up your way for God's way. You just releasing like you saying, you know what? I'm not carrying the emotional baggage anymore. The mental baggage, I'm letting it go. The physical baggage, I'm just completely releasing. And it's going to free up your energy so much. For some of you, you could have been feeling so restricted. Also, it's going to free up your time. With this butterfly here, this is just you going through your transformation. The number 10 is definitely very relevant for you also. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Yes, seeing the world through faith, believing in the impossible, um, not allowing anything to keep you down, to keep you back. No more standing still, Leo. Happiness is my birthright. Yep, you're put here to be happy. You're meant to be happy. Um... I feel like a lot of times we allow ourselves to get into slumps, to become depressed, overwhelmed because of our perception of our situation and not realizing that happiness doesn't come from things. Happiness doesn't come from outside of us. It comes from within. Let's pull a scripture. Give me a scripture for Leo for the month of October. Give me a scripture for Leo for the month of October. What is the energy spirit? Give me a scripture for Leo for the month of October. I have let your light shine before others. Matthew 5, 16. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling an energy of renewal. Also your talent. Thank you, spirit. It has slipped my mind. Spirit gave it to me, but I was um, talking about another energy pertaining to you um or another message i should say but listen for some of you you i'm hearing ridiculous don't sell yourself short whatever it is that you're being called to do you may feel like you're not good enough you may feel like it is ridiculous you know like you know who's going to support me in that um, do not have a pessimistic outlook when it comes to your dreams, your goals, your calling, um, whatever it is that you're being called to do. I'm hearing like it's your true nature. So it is your purpose. 
I don't care what it is. It could be painting, drawing, singing, some type of natural skill ability that you have, you've been putting on the back burner and you need to show to others. Let the world see you shine. Matthew 5, 16, bottom of the deck with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26 believe in yourself all things are possible don't give up i'm hearing draft so somebody could um play sports something could also have to do with somebody's son as well but believe in the impossible all things are possible if you just believe faith the size of a mustard seed that's all it takes they don't take this great big mountain of faith just a little bit to get you to the next step, to get you far. So let's pull some love messages for you. Spirit, give me some love energy for Leo. What is the message? Oh, okay. I have compromise and opposites, and then I have him in the reverse. Uh, for some of you, you've been compromising with somebody for far too long. You really have. Um, this hymn is like divine masculine energy, emperor energy. Um, this could also be a feminine operating in her masculinity, but you've been compromising for far too long, too much give and take, um, not ready. Somebody just not ready to give you what you actually deserve. You know, with this hymn in the reverse, this is somebody who's in their karmic energy. Somebody could be very controlling, immature. Let's pull some more messages. Spirit, tell me why is opposites in him in the reverse here? Why is this here for Leo? What's the energy? Why is opposites in him in the reverse here? Why is this here for Leo? What is the message, Spirit? Why is opposites in him in the reverse here for Leo? What's the energy? I have the Knight of Cups. Tell me more about opposites and him in the reverse what is the message strength leo your energy um don't try to force anything leo like don't try to force somebody to give you an offer to commit to settle down to do right by you like don't try to force it if somebody really want to do it they'll do it give me an energy for the knight of cups no prompting they'll just do it if that's what they truly want Yep, Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. I feel like somebody's trying to force someone into a commitment, a relationship, a marriage for some of you. And it's just not meant to work. I feel like with this opposites, you and this person are just really not on the same page. Um, give me an energy for the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Leo? What is the energy? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Leo? Two of Cups. Yeah, something deals with a relationship that um, someone desires to, to have. It's kind of like um, above all else. So this is somebody that you see as like your forever person or they could see you this way. Take it as it resonates. The roles could always be um, reversed. I'm hearing I'll make you surrender by, um, oh my goodness, I cannot think of that group right now. I'll make you surrender. Again, it's that forceful energy. Like, I'll make you surrender. I'll make you give in to me. I'm going to make you love me, be with me, marry me. Give me an energy for the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here for Leo? What is the energy? Why is the Hierophant here for Leo? What is the message, Spirit? I have the Three of Wands. Move in with me. Move move with me relocate or i'll relocate to you like we're gonna make this work we can make it work we can compromise somebody not ready though somebody still need to work on themselves there's a lot of healing this person needs to do give me an energy for strength why is strength here ten of pentacles tell me more be mindful leo if somebody's trying to force you into a relationship it's for money it's for opportunity, but this person is still toxic. They still a karmic. Give me an energy for strength. Why is strength here for Leo? What is the message? 
why is strength here spirit knight of wands Somebody could be trying to have intimacy with intimacy with someone for money. Yeah, like somebody for some of you, this is somebody like trying to turn like a knight of wands relationship, a relationship based on passion into something serious, into a commitment. Give me an energy for the Ten of Pentacles. This is also somebody that gets around and deals with multiple people. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Leo? What's the energy? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Leo? What is the message, Spirit? Eight of Swords. Somebody trying to trap someone for their money. Be careful. Give me an energy for the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Emperor. Aries energy. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. Something could have to do with somebody's child father. So if this isn't you, for some of you... Um, the person you have a child or children with could be experiencing this. It's not going to work, though. Whether this is you, somebody energetically tied to you, it ain't going to work. Whatever somebody trying to do. Um, the number eight could be significant with the eight of pentacles, eight of swords, the number 88. Why is the knight of wands here for Leo? What is the energy? Why is the knight of wands here? For Leo, what is the message? Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Ace of Swords. Somebody seeing the truth that somebody is just a Knight of Wands. They're not somebody to be taken serious. For some of you too, this is somebody trying to mask themselves as an Emperor. They're trying to pretend like they do have everything together. They're very mature. They're ready for love, but they're not. Somebody just looking for a good time, and that's what you're going to be seeing in the month of October. They don't want anything more. Give me an energy for the Knight of Wands. For some of you, like this is somebody who could be saying, oh, you know, let's just take things slow. We don't have to rush into anything, but they're just going to be a stalemate once they get what they want out of you. Give me an energy for the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Leo? October messages. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Leo? The lovers. Because there's somebody that has options. Like, that's the truth. Somebody has options. Gemini energy. They dealing with other people. How they going to commit to you? And they dealing with other people. Give me an energy for the Ace of Swords. Nine of Swords. The truth is, this person really don't care. They don't even really care about being exposed. For some of you, I'm seeing like um, a smile, a grin. This is somebody that I think is funny that you feel for the okie doke. So just be mindful. For some of you, this could be somebody new in your energy or that's coming into your energy. But Spirit is saying like walk away. Especially if you met this person like at a club. I'm also getting like some type of family gathering. Something is significant about white sheets. Give me an energy for compromise and opposites. Why is compromise and opposites here for Leo? What's the energy? Met this person going out of town for her cups. Uh-uh. Somebody wants to get you to kind of lower your standards. Like, accept whatever they have to give you. Like, you know, I just want to have a good time. You're going to accept that. Like, we'll get there eventually. I'll give you this. But right now, let's just have fun. Let's not rush it. You know, don't move too fast. It don't need to be that serious. But mm -mm, this person going to stay in that energy. They never intend on giving you what you want. Give me an energy for him in the reverse. Why is him in the reverse here for Leo? What's the energy? Spirit is telling you to make a very practical decision. A wise decision here, Leo. Why is him here? I'm just saying. Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, you already in this situation. This person don't um, betrayed you, manipulated you multiple times. And Spirit is saying you should have been walked away. You should have walked away from this person a long time ago. You've been too slow about co closing out this cycle. Give me an energy for not ready. The Seven, I can't make it up. Somebody has, like, too many options. For some of you, too, this is somebody that moves place to place. Like, this is somebody that really don't have a home. It's like whoever this person dealing with at the moment, they want to live with them. They want to move in with them. Somebody has, like, too many options. They don't have any type of um stability. 
they go from place to place is you know they they you know i'm hearing like living girlfriends boyfriends like whoever they're with they they live with the person they don't have their own for some of you, this person's confused as well. Like, they don't know who they want to be in a relationship with, who they want to commit to. Somebody just not ready. Simple. Somebody just, they not ready. They, they not. Not, in, no. Not anytime soon. Give your energy for the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the Four of Wands here for Leo? What is the energy spirit? Five of one. Listen, this person got people competing for them. They do. And they okay with it. They satisfied with it. They comfortable in this lifestyle because they used to it, Leo. Give me some energy, some final messages for the love portion. I have soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. For some of you, um, this person is a soulmate, but this is like a karmic soulmate literally they came into your life to teach you a lesson like spirit said with the ten of swords to the eight of cups to the knight of pentacles you should have been left you should have been moved on now for some of you that's what you're going to be choosing to do with the ten of swords where at completion you're finally going to be moving forward from this person now for some of you spirit is saying you're going to come into um union connection with your actual soulmate bottom of the deck obsession someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts yeah you don't want to let this person go um or you didn't let this person go because you feel like they're your soulmate like no it's just something that that binds me and this person. Like, I can't let this person go. I know this the one. No, for some of you, it's just the passion. And you're just creating soul ties with this masculine or feminine energy. Especially where this is like your child's father. Yeah. Or mother. Yeah, that's what this is. So, that's why you can't let them go. Soul ties are very strong. So, you have to be mindful of who you share your energy with, share your body with. Let's pull some messages for your career. Give me some energy for Leo's career. What's the message? Give me some energy for Leo's career. What's the message, Spirit? Give me some energy for Leo's career. What is the energy? Messages for Leo's career. What's the energy spirit? The four of pentacles. Keep it to yourself. If you're looking for a new job, keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. That's what spirit is saying. The tower. Scorpio energy. I feel like something's going to happen unexpected. For some of you, um, there is, there's definitely about to be a job change. A career change. Give me an energy. I'm hearing platter. Um, some of you could be like in the food industry. Somebody could be a chef. Give me an energy for the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Leo? What's the energy? The Ace of Wands. Yeah, if you think about moving forward, you think about leaving the job, keep it to thyself. Give me an energy for the Four of Pentacles. I have... Yeah, you already know it's time to move on. No, your intuition has been telling you this um, for months. I'm hearing months ago. For some of you, eight months, your intuition been telling you it's time to leave. Give me an energy for Pisces energy on the high priestess, Scorpio energy on the tower. Give me an energy for the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the Ace of Wands here for Leo? What is the energy spirit? I have the Eight of Wands. Yeah. Listen, you've been receiving a lot of communication spiritually. Um, and I feel like you've been trying to hold on to something that you should have been released. Leo, I think that um, is an issue for someone. Holding on to things that you should have been released a long time ago. Whether it's career, love. Give me an energy for... The High Priestess.
why is the high priestess here for leo what is the message i can't make listen you were supposed to walk away a long time ago <sighs> give me an energy for the tower yeah somebody should have look the number eight confirmation confirmation okay eight months ago for somebody give me an energy for the tower why is the tower here for Leo? What's the message? Why is the tower here for Leo? What is the energy? I have the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. You need to make a decision about your career. I feel like it's something else that you need to be investing into and you already know what it is. You already been thinking about it. I feel like for some of you, you're gonna be coming up with some type of like creative idea, but this is something new. This is brand new for you, Leo. Give me an energy for the Eight of Pentacles. Number eight definitely is significant with the Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, 88. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Leo? What's the message? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The King of Pentacles. Something about to elevate you. I don't care if you masculine or feminine. Something's about to elevate you financially. Do you hear me? Spiritually, for some of you, something has to do with you using your spiritual gifts. Tell me, tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. The King of Swords. Why is the King of Pentacles here? What's the energy? The Four of Wands. In the Ten of Swords. Something has to do with you were um, partnering with somebody that you were in a relationship with, in a commitment with. For someone, um, you are no longer with this person. For some of you, you are divorced. I'm hearing mixed business with pleasure. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Leo? What is the energy? The world, yeah, that cycle is over. That has ended. If you're still trying to hold on um, to a, a relationship where you and this person, like, not only was romantically involved, but there was some type of business partnership as well, it's time to let that go. It's time to close out that cycle. That chapter is over. Give me an energy for the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here for Leo? What is the message? Yeah, it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to move on from this person. Now, for some of you with the Queen of Swords, you're going to be speaking up in the month of October and telling this person that you're leaving, you're walking away, you no longer want to be in this business agreement. Now, for some of you where it isn't romantic, this is just like a business partnership. Give me an energy for the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Leo? What is the message? The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is something that you've been invested in for a very long time. That's why it's hard for you to walk away, whether it's a partnership, a traditional job, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I'm telling you, Sagittarius energy, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy is something that you're about to invest in that is going to be pivotal for you. Like That is going to pay off for you in such a great way. It's going to put you at the top of the wheel. Your money is going to be looking good, Queen of Pentacles. Now, with this Queen of Pentacles at the bottom, King of Pentacles, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, for some of you, you're going to be coming into alignment with somebody. For some of you, this is going to be somebody that you're going to invest with. And for others of you, it's going to be someone that's going to invest in you. Either way, this relationship is going to be life changing, Leo. You need to know that. Let's pull some final messages. Spirit, give me some final messages for Leo. Court. In the reverse. Something's not meant to go in your favor because... It's just not meant for you, Leo. Like God has something better. The number 23, 32, 5, 2, or 3 could be significant. Bottom of the deck, high honor. It, you're too good for whatever this is. You're too good for this partnership. Um, you're too good for this job, this career. Like it's high honor. Like you're meant to be in the forefront 
Um, you're meant to have more. For some of you, this is you meant to have your own, be in leadership. Whatever you are, it is just not good enough anymore like you've outgrown it the number two definitely is significant because we have it twice the number five is significant 25 52 i'm also getting 53 for some of you let's pull a final message for the entire reading somebody could be a, a school teacher or an educator give me some messages for Leo, final energy. What would you like for Leo to know? I have balance. Slow down. Lighten your load so you can float. I feel like the month of October is just about you finding balance. Spiritual, love, career. About you finding balance. And I'm hearing dancing to the beat of your own drum. Don't try to fit in. Don't try to stay in situations to make someone else happy. Like, no. Spirit is saying it's all about you. Whatever you do is all about you. It's all about your happiness. I'm also getting like sit still. So don't be in a rush as well. Take your time. Don't try to um don't allow anybody to force you into something as well. Make sure that it sits well with you. Make sure that um you feel good about it. That is something your intuition is telling you to do. You're being divinely led towards that situation or towards that person. Um, I'm also getting like a rough cycle. So for some of you, you could have been like in a very rough period, a rough season in your life. That is ending. You're closing out that chapter, bottom of the deck. Everything is all always working out for me. Yep, everything is, whether you know it or not, because I feel like there's been a lot of endings, a lot of changes. It's been hard. There's been a lot of adjustments that you need to make. And it's like, oh, why me? But little do you know, it was a blessing in disguise. Rejection is always your protection. Everything is working out for me, even when it doesn't seem like it. And one thing about God, he will reveal all in due time, in due season. So you always have to trust the process. And then I'm hearing if you only believe. So Leo, this is your reading for October. Take what resonates. Definitely come back to see how much actually applied. The energy can, of course, carry on beyond the month of October. So stay true to thyself, real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.